Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 50 of the section C. It is a problem from abstract algebra. Let us have a look. The number of subgroups of Z7 cross Z7 of order 7 is. So in this problem, question is talking about number of subgroups. So firstly, what I want to tell you is a note. So that note you have to remember for solving this problem. Let us see that note. Now have a look on this note. What this note actually tells you that if we have two element x from g1 and y from g2 such that order of x is m and order of y is n then xy will belongs to z1 cross z2 and order of xy will be lcm of m comma n. The second note is very simple. It tells us that let us say d divides n, all right? Then number of element of order d in z n is equal to phi d. So this is Euler phi function, all right? So we have these two nodes in our hand. Now let us proceed. So now firstly, first L, first node is telling us that this, uh, if x has order m and y has order n, then order of x, y will be LCM of m comma n. Now what I will obtain, I will obtain number of element of order 7 in Z7 cross Z7. This is what I need. All right. Now we want our C. In, in Z, Z1 cross Z2, in G1 cross Z2, order of an element is LCM of the order of X and order of Y. So LCM of order of X and order of Y is the order of the element which is inside G1 cross Z2. Now you need an element of order 7 in Z7 cross Z7. It means that you have to find out those elements whose LCM of orders will be 7. So what do you think? Seven, if you want seven, so you need an element of order seven and element of order one in Z7. So the LCM of these two will be, what is the LCM of seven and one? It is seven. So that means if we have an element of order on the first place, we have seven and on the second place we have one, then we will get an element of order seven. Other possibility is this, that if you have an element of order 1 on the first position and element of order 7 on the second position, you will get your LCM to be 7. The third possibility is 7 comma 7. Alright. Now see that we have these elements, 7, 1, 1, 7, 7, 7, these kind of element. How many element are there of order 7 in Z7? According to the note number 2, it will be 5, 7. How many elements are there of order 1? It will be 5, 1. So how many elements will be there for which first coordinate is of order 7 and second coordinate is of order 1? It will be the product of these two. Similarly, we will get product here also. And third, we will get the product like this. So this will be 6 into 1, this will be uh, 1 into 6, this will be 6 into 6. So if you will sum all of these, you will get 48 in total. So how many elements are there whose order is 7? There are 48. Now see, we have 48 elements of order 1. Now in a group of order 7, if you have a group of order 7, let us write seven element. All right. Let us write seven element. Now this element will be of order one. Order of E is one. What will be the order of the remaining six element? Six elements of order what? See, order of the group is seven. You know that order of this uh, order, order of an element divides the order of the group you know that that means order has to be seven 
because you know that order of every element has to divide 7 therefore because 7 is a prime number so 6 elements of order 7 so in a group if you are if you are making a group all right if you are making a group of order 7 you have to expand 6 elements all right because see the group is uh, the group is what the group is cyclic because it because of prime order so it will be generated by some element all right it will be generated without loss of generality let us say it is generated by a1 all right so the group generated by a1 consists of seven element and out of those seven you 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 need six elements of order seven now let us say you have any other b1 who is going to generate another group and in that group you will also expand seven element all right you will expand seven similarly you will do it for how many cases all right how many how many order of element you have how many uh, seven order element you have you have 48 so six you have used here six you have used here so how many can you get you can get 48 by six so that is uh, eight sorry not seven Eight. so there will be eight subgroups whose order will be uh, whose order will be seven all right so answer for the problem is eight are you getting my point or not so what I am doing is this that in order to form a group of order seven subgroup of order seven I will say you need six element how many elements you have of order seven you have 48 elements of order 7 so how many such subgroups you can make 48 by 6 so that is 8 so 8 is the answer for this problem if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you